uh, in New York. News Nation reporter Mary Murphy, she is outside where the memorial service was held today for Gabby. Mary. We are nearly 2,200 miles away from Grand Teton National Park, where Gabby Petito's remains were found last Sunday. Suffolk County, Long Island is where the young cross country traveler was born and raised. It's where she started her trip. But Gabby Petito is still not home. It's not fair. Her family deserves to lay her to rest the right way. Alexis Trauma went to middle school with Gabby Petito, who was celebrated at her memorial for her sense of adventure, even as her remains are still in Wyoming, where she was found in the forest a week ago. Yet there was a huge outpouring of love in the county where she began her van life journey in July with so much hope and excitement. Her on the lam fiance and traveling companion, now the person of interest in her death. There's a trip you guys want to take, take it now. Do it now while you got the talk. If there's a relationship that you're in that might not be the best thing for you, leave it now. More than half a billion people followed the search for Gabby Petito on TikTok and other platforms, with video of her white van discovered by one vlogger likely leading to the discovery of Petito's remains. She had stopped communicating with her family in late August. The search for fiancé Brian Laundrie was focused on a massive Florida reserve. Petito's great aunt Liz spoke outside the memorial. I, I almost don't even have words. It's just so heartbreaking what happened to her. And, and uh, we love her, and we know that she's at peace right now. Ariana Green carried a poster to the service from West Milford, New Jersey. I just felt definitely, like, personally connected to Gabby. Just, like, her um, love for everything, her love for life, n nature, the little things. It's very somber in there, and the parents are very upset, and the siblings are upset. An empty urn sat on a stanchion at the memorial, yet Gabby Petito's prayer card urged mourners to remember her joy, a poem reading in part, be not burdened with times of sorrow. I wish for you the sunshine of tomorrow. She's inspired a lot of women and a lot of men to do what's best for them first. Put yourself first and do it now while you have the time. I couldn't be more proud as a father. We are told that Gabby Petito's remains could be released to her family this week. She will be cremated. Such a sad ending for a young, vibrant woman called a beautiful light by all who knew her.